is May 5th, 2023, and tonight is actually my first night using an autofocuser. So I probably spent the past two years just kind of like telling myself I don't need an autofocuser, and I never could bring myself to get one, but I finally did. And tonight's going to be first light, and hopefully we can get this thing all connected to the ASI Air and get it running with no problems. Um, I didn't focus during the daytime on a distant object, so I pretty much know this telescope like the back of my hand. I can remember where focus is at, so that shouldn't be a problem. I've read a couple manuals and I've watched a few tutorials, so fingers crossed we can get her done. All right, we're gonna see if this thing moves in and out. Here we go, first test. Oh my god, it's working! So we'll bring it all the way in to where I know focus is. It's basically like right there. Looking good, it's working, yes! <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a test exposure. We're just going to see if we can see stars. The autofocusing process involves capturing a series of images at different focus positions and analyzing the sharpness within each image. By plotting these sharpness values, a focus curve is generated to help identify the point of best focus. Finally, I now have precise and automated focusing. Super excited. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. The real test now is to see if it's in focus. So it says it is. We're just going to pick a target here, preferably a star cluster. We're going to go ahead and set an auto run. So I'm going to come in here and we're just going to reset everything. And these are just going to be, let's say, two minute. The moon's pretty bright. We got no filter in there. We're going to set this for two minutes. And we'll do 50 here. That gives us an hour and 45 minutes. So just under a two hour exposure. All right, so we're going to get our guide scope going here. Auto run set, our temperature is at negative 15. We got a meridian flip happening in two hours and 25 minutes. So we got the auto focuser set up. Seems to be working. We're gonna go ahead and start. And here it goes again, finding focus. Our exposures are started. It's awesome. Awesome. For our first exposure, just coming up on our second. And this is a two minute exposure on M13. And it looks great. Stars look super sharp. You can really see every individual star here. Looks really nice. Very promising. Super excited. Oh man. Can't believe I waited so long. It's crazy. Um, hopefully this will keep an eye on that focus during the night and I can not have to worry about that anymore, so. Yeah. As I share this occasion with you, I implore you to never falter in your pursuit of greatness. Embrace every challenge as an opportunity to grow. Let the stars be a constant reminder that we are all connected to something greater, and that by reaching for the heavens, we can realize our truth.